coming out the front bumper. You hear me? This is a bad boy right here. I got the fog lights already in the car. We're gonna change that out whenever I get the bumper painted. And this is mechanic number one. And mechanic number two, you feel me? Whatever, yeah, I can't find him. All right, you right there. I got a car coming down the road. But anyways, and we're gonna install this again. I got a vote for uh, upcoming video, son. I got a vote for upcoming video. Uh, cold air intake, son. We gonna be putting a cold air intake in that bitch, man. Yeah, from here Something first. small, but uh, that bitch, that bitch gonna up your horsepower, though, man. Oh yeah, cause you already know the deal is. <laughs> he just saw so I could go to the paint shop, get it painted up, and put it back on. All right, lift up, pull up. All right, it's better you. All right, don't go too far back. They got this connector right here. Wherever they connect that. Nothing. Yeah, you know it would be kind of tight. You can put so, I'm just leaving from AutoZone back there. And I got me some uh, headlights for my LEDs. <laughs> I got me some headlights for my headlamps. I got the H7 versions because these prongs right here is gonna fit inside the wiring that I have for the headlights. Because apparently, I wanted to do the HIDs, but in order for me to get the HIDs, I'd have to get a blast and all that other stuff, and nobody carries that. And I'm really just trying to put these headlights on ASAP to see how this goes. So, I'm on my way back to my apartment. Just decided to go take like a little walk or whatever, you know, get the blood flowing. And we got to catch back up when I get there. I installed the first air light already. I'm about to go install the second one. But I'm gonna let y'all see the first one first. And I'm trying to record myself installing this one, but I doubt it because where my car parked at, it's probably gonna be hard for me to um, actually do that. You feel me? So yeah, this is the first headlight in there. I didn't screw it all the way in, but this is what we're working with. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if my DRLs, just because it's so bright outside, it probably ain't gonna be visible. I don't know, but I know my projector works. So that's a good thing. I know it works. It's just, I don't know about the DRLs. My turn signal works too. And I don't have an RS, so you technically don't need a RS to non-RS, some shit like that, harness that I've been seeing on Google and stuff like that. I don't think you actually need that. As far as right now, I don't think you need that. So, these are the bulbs I went with, and we're gonna try to install this. So, yeah. All right, so the DRLs are on, and I'm not sure if I don't have the right connections or something, but these work for sure. But these, I can't really tell. I really cannot tell. But I'll just do some modifications tomorrow and if I get my bumper back and I gotta clean my car, I already know. I said this already. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we're looking at right now. Stay tuned to the next video. This is the best day ever. I finally got my lights to work. After so many failed attempts, bro. So many freaking failed attempts. I had the projectors to work. But I was trying to wonder how the hell do I get my freaking daytime running lights to work? And I look at them. They on. We ain't been there. Hold on. Let's see if the sequential lights work. Bro, it's lit. It's fucking lit. So basically, to get the LED daytime running lights to work, you was gonna have to, I don't like this camera, but you was gonna have to um, get a turn signal stop that's inside your car and there's this uh connector that's inside the headlight it's like a little slot that it has for the um, headlight and what you do is that is you take this um the wire that's outside the turn stop head like damn i fucked that up but you're gonna take this wire that's outside of the headlight that you just brought 
and the headlight that comes in your car, you take that headlight out like you actually pull a bulb out of that, and you, because you can see how the bulb is made, it's like this little, this little wedge that sticks inside the hole, and you take that bulb out and you push the wire. The wire actually looks like the bottom of the bulb that comes out the headlight. You take that wire and you put it inside of the turnstile stalk inside of your car. And then it's like it's like a, a light bulb. Like that whole section right there is a light bulb. I couldn't believe that either. I thought I was gonna have to buy another light bulb or something, but I didn't. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you.